pretty easy, okay? Might be a little hard, but that's fine because I'm just going to mash it up and I'm going to add some fun ingredients to it to, to make it sweet and right. All right, motivators, the yams and sweet potatoes, they're coming to a boil right now. Now, as soon as they come to a rapid boil, I'm going to decrease the heat to like a medium, okay? And then I'm going to put the lid on and set it for roughly five to eight minutes. You know what? I'm going to go right in the middle. Let's go about seven-ish, okay? About seven minutes. I'm going to I'm going to boil these four just because there's a few more yams and sweet potatoes than I usually do. But guess what? That's just a little bit more meals for me. Okay, so it's coming to a good boil. I'm going to set the timer. We'll go seven minutes. Put the lid on, starting it, bring the heat down a little bit to medium. And I'll see you in about seven minutes. All right, motivators. Well, my yam sweet potatoes, they were done in seven minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick dump them out in the colander in the sink. Get all the water out of them. We'll be back in two seconds. 1,001, 1,001. All right, 1,002. Here we go. So what I like to do, in my yams or sweet potatoes, love the stevia extract, gives a little sweet flavor. Sometimes you don't even have to add any stevia extract. Kind of make your own concoction. Whatever you would like to add, go ahead and do so. And if you have some great ideas, go ahead and email me at brandon at motivate.com. That's brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, at motivate, M-O-T-O-V, the letter A, the number 8.com. And let's see if I can make some of your recipes a little healthier, a little more fun. So I put some stevia extract in there. Put some stevia extract in there. A little pumpkin spice to spice things up. How about some ground cinnamon? Like I put in my oatmeal before, like what I like to put in my oatmeal in the mornings. Get the blood flowing. And I like Molly McButter or Butter Butts, okay? You don't have to add it if you don't want to, but feels right. Now you can zip them up, or I like to just mash them. So just mash these guys up. Let them cool a little bit, put them in the refrigerator. And now I can just measure the amount of ounces I want per meal per snack. And that other beeper that you just heard beep, that's my chicken breast. Let's take those out. So we did two recipes. One recipe with the apple cider vinegar and vinaigrette, balsamic vinegar. And the other one with the Apple cider vinegar and buffalo wing sauce. Motivators, there's no excuse to order bad, nasty food. So I have all this food. I can chop up, I can cube up my, my chicken breasts, I can fillet them, I can shred them, however you feel comfortable. Now, even with these chicken breasts, when I keep them in the refrigerator and they're shredded, how nice is that, that I could put that on a bed of maybe some spinach and then add maybe some peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms. Hey, it's endless. Good luck, stay healthy, stay motivated.